Hi there, everybody. So as you can see from around me today, you know, so what we're going to do is uh, look at this sort of simple little model constructed in Excel. And, um, you know, at this point in the class, we we're just learning about uh, modeling business uh, activity. Uh, and we've already sort of looked at uh, household activity. So I thought it would be fun to program. <laughs> it's fun for me. All right. I thought it'd be fun to sort of program in uh, some of those ideas into Excel and then and then also you have the spreadsheet uh, with the class right so uh, I would encourage you to you know as you're watching this to open it up right and, and be working along okay so <clears throat> let's start over here with the household box uh, you notice I have a household box a government box a business box and then some givens right and then some explanatory ideas down here those of you who already watched the videos on households and business you know, you'll recognize these forms this was our basically our little household model there's a video on that uh, as well as we do some empirical work on that uh, and then here's our business investment model uh, and then our explanations here of what those values do right uh, and then here, like I said a minute ago, this is our given box, and then these are our outputs. Today we want to focus a little bit on this sort of business model here where we said that business investment would be a positive function of sort of expectations about uh, incomes, and then also the rate of interest. And I've got some givens here. I've said that I2 is 0.5, saying that for every percentage in the rate of interest, business investment changes by some amount. Uh, of course, that is something that we would want to empirically estimate. If you're interested, uh, let me know and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but uh, we'd have to empirically estimate that. And so then let's look at how we've kind of programmed this to Excel. Let's start with households first off. So I'm going to kind of look at the formulas that, that underlie some of these outputs here. So if I look at income, it's drawing from cell M3, right? So that's my given from my given box here. My consumption then does what? M5, well, you, you can pause this and look at this, but what have I done here? Okay, what I've done here is programmed in this consumption function, uh, and now Excel is spitting that out based upon, you know, what I put over here, right? So if I change this cell here to say 1200, yeah, there we go. You can see that everything adjusts, right? The consumption adjusts. <clears throat> okay, um, taxes, right? Our tax is zero here if I change that. Uh, you know, then that changes as well. So uh, let's put that back to zero. Everybody likes no tax situation. So that's sort of how households work there. Um, you can kind of see how these other cells work. Again, pause it uh, if you need to. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to go over here to uh, the business sector. Now, we know from what we've learned already that if households desire a certain amount of savings, that that's the needed uh, level of business investment to stabilize the economy. Right, so uh, whatever household desired savings is, you know, unless it's a government sector or a foreign sector or something like that, right? We need business to invest that amount to stabilize things. Okay, so this box here, right? Needed investment is just generated from desired household savings, uh, and then realized investment here, this box is what, right? This is this investment function programmed in uh, again from our given. So we can use this little model to, this little Excel file, excuse me, to take our models, our hypothetical models that we've already developed and actually sort of run numbers through them. So let's say that interest rates go up to, you know, I don't know, 1% or something like that. Well, we can see then that realized investment falls. Why? Because now it's more costly for business to operate when compared to before. And we can see actually that, uh, over here, total expenditures in the economy are going to fall, and we're going to see an unemployment uh, contractionary style environment. Uh, if we rate, lower that back down, okay, then the economy stabilizes again because realized investment is equal to needed investment. Okay, um, so you know, play around with this. Um, I think it's 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 neat, right? It's neat to see. All right, long enough. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.